interior decoration. You definitely learned a lot at land. I'll buy. She lived in a Chinese monastery and military school for six months, learning Kung Fu for eight hours a day. Show us how you do it. I'll buy. Bagyo. Her mother belongs to the Gadang tribe, while her father belongs to the Gilayo tribe of Kalinga. You can leave beautiful roots in these. Bagyo. Batanes. She grew up in a remote village in Batanes, where Wi-Fi and internet did not exist until today. Talk about real connections. Batanes. Benguet. She is a songwriter who writes songs not just about her, but also stories of people she can relate to. Keep creating beautiful music. Benguet. Bohol. She got certified as a free diver in 2021 in the middle of a pandemic. And that's one of her life's milestones. Keep diving into possibilities. Bohol. Her hobbies include traveling, creating content, video editing, heavy lifting, and singing. Bulacan. Cebu City. She has two German foreign language teaching jobs in order to support her studies. Way to go, Cebu City. Competition. Truly remarkable. Davao del Norte. Davao del Sur. Both her parents are pastors and she's been helping them in Sunday schools for children. Davao del Sur. Iloco Sur. Both her grandparents are farmers. That's why she's very passionate about being able to help the local farmers. Iloco Sur. Ilo Ilo City. She is both a nursing and an art student. She says it's a combination that was once considered to be the oil and water in academic fields. Ilo Ilo City. Ilo Ilo Province. She is a professional Polynesian dancer who started performing at two years old. She got the moves. Ilo Ilo Province. Laguna. She has been a pescatarian for five years now. She watched a documentary about animal cruelty and that changed her lifestyle. Laguna. Lapu Lapu. She is half Swiss and half Filipino. She studied acting in Los Angeles and London. Good job, Lapu Lapu. She owns a beach hostel in San Juan, La Union, which officially just opened last September 2021. Take us there, Las Piñas. Lucena. She has 
has been living a double life as a corporate sales executive during the day and a performer at night. Keep pushing, Lucena. Makati. She is a self-confessed nerd at her core and loves challenging herself to the extreme. Makati. Mandawin. She is a proud island girl and a certified dog lover. Keep exploring and loving. Mandawe. Miss Oriental. She is a full academic scholar taking a Bachelor of Arts major in Consular and Diplomatic Affairs. Miss Miss Oriental. Negros Oriental. Her name is a combination of her parents' names. Such a uniquely beautiful name. Negros Oriental. Nueva Vizcaya. According to her, she used to eat a whole box of pizza, but she doesn't gain weight. Nueva Vizcaya. Palawan. Both her parents were musicians. Her mom was a vocalist, and her dad was the lead guitarist in their band. Palawan. Uh, she joined a Filipino community pageant abroad when she was younger. Now she's taking her chance to win the crown. Bambanga. Banga Sinan. Her name, Ivy Lou, came from the word I love you. That's cool. Banga Sinan. Basai. Moving to the Philippines from Italy was her life's biggest challenge, and she has survived the cultural differences. Pasay! Quezon Province! At the age of 16, she joined beauty pageants and made it as her source of income to support her family. Quezon Province! Roja City. She is an artist, musician, football player, and a reptile enthusiast, and currently studying digital filmmaking. Roja City. San Juan. She was homeschooled, and this is her first time to join a beauty pageant, and now she's here. San Juan. She is a finance graduate at De La Salle University, Manila, and loves hiking, traveling, and boxing. Tagig! Victoria City! She has joined almost 15 pageants in the past, and it all started in her school. Victoria City!